This way, I am going to cover a software in order for you to make easier visualizations. So, how much time it takes you to do proper visualizations or walkthroughs or even VR, virtual reality? Today, we are going to speak about a software called Enscape. It's an excellent software because it's a direct Revit plugin, so you can actually run it real time with Revit, and it can work bidirectional because if you put a tree or if you put some components, you can actually visualize them in Revit as well. So it's an amazing tool. I'm covering an interesting bits and pieces of this software within five minutes. So stay tuned, keep watching until the end in order to get the most value out of it. By the way. I would like to make a disclaimer that this video is not sponsored by Enscape. We went through the software solely ourselves and evaluated it and wanted to share with you all the great features of it. If you go in the description below or above, you can get two weeks trial period of the software. So don't miss it and I would really recommend for you to try it. I will be demonstrating you the Enscape in this project. It's an interesting villa located in Detroit, USA. This project has a huge garden, so it leaves us a lot of room for e experimenting and evaluating the Enscape. And this video is specifically for the people who don't know about the Enscape or who is just about to start with the Enscape and try to understand a little bit more about what kind of value they can get from this Enscape. And how does it really work and what is the main purpose behind it? So I think its main competitor is not Lumion specifically, but instead Revit Live, because it's, it performs in a similar way. Rather than being an individual software, it's more like a plugin and it's like an external um, visualization platform, meaning if you just click on the start button here, it will load pretty quickly and you will be doing all the work in Revit. So you are not going to place anything inside the Enscape directly. Meaning, obviously you can call it bi-directional associativity, meaning whatever you put inside Revit, it will be represented inside Enscape. However, in reality, it is um, single directional because you are just placing things in Revit and Enscape allows you to visualize them in a more appropriate, in a more appealing way. So if we just go to the Enscape now, you'll be able to see, look at the trees now, the difference. The good, great thing over here is that if I go on the side plan, I will be able to see where the trees are in comparison to any another software. So for example, if I pull this Revit model inside of 3ds Max or Lumion and another software, when I put trees, when I do some adjustments, I will not be able to see them back in Revit. With this one, uh, with the Enscape, I am capable of seeing stuff directly inside the other software. If we have a look at the Revit model from the Enscape point of view, the, it's very user friendly because you can see all the navigation items here. You can obviously hide it as well if you want to, but if you by clicking H simply because there's a you know a shortcut I can here hide. Um, but if you want to keep it and you want to visualize it in the beginning, especially to get used to it, that's awesome. So um, what we will do is we will just try to get a couple of you know like uh, assets in, in Revit and we'll see how they are being visualized here. I will pull back the Revit model and what we are going to do is we are going to go in the Enscape tab we, in the, from the control panel we hit live so it's live sync and then I will go from here asset in the tools panel and we will, I will put a random asset so if I put here let's say basketball hoop uh, and if I place it onto the board entrances so a crazy design maybe kind of thing so as soon as I end the tool, like I might click escape or yeah, just escape, they will, it will be loaded and it will be inserted inside the Enscape right away. I will be able to visualize and look at this, to look at the, how realistic it looks. It's just awesome. It's really real. If I go back to the Revit, Revit model, I'm, I'm not really a fan of it, how it looks really. So maybe one of the points I would say to the Enscape that they should improve how it looks in Revit. Maybe we, uh, if we go with the you know, like fine detail, it doesn't look like this. Maybe it looks like this in the course, but when you go fine detail, it revises a bit. So it's a little bit more also appealing from the Revit side, not necessarily for rendering, 
but maybe for you know like 2D and for other purposes. So this this can be hidden or uh, not represented in in 3D in this way, and it's represented a bit more you know, like proper way of as a Revit family. Just a simple example on this one because I tried. Maybe there is an option. I am. I, I will be seeking for this one, uh, and maybe I can just make a test of how we can how Enscape can do it, and make another video for you. So comment below if you want to see something like this um, as a Enscape user or a future Enscape user. Coming back to any other asset, you can put a tree, you can put a vegetation, you can put anything, you can put a vehicle. So I will put a tree for, for you just to see how it works. Again, it will, it will look similar to the other trees. It will take a bit of time to load in the beginning, which is normal. Obviously, it's an external library. So I click Escape now. As soon as I click Escape, if I switch back to Enscape, I mean, it's still in a tool. I have to get out of the tool and then get back to the Enscape. So it feels... And when you move, when you move, you see, you feel that there is a wind kind of thing. It waves. Wow, it's interesting. So I will put a car as well, so you can see how they are being represented. And my only drawback of this one, the object, the shapes of the object, they are very rigid shapes, and they are not really artificially appealing in the drawings necessarily. Because if I pull, a, let me just pull a vehicle as well, and then I will go. Uh, I will do, I will put it just, uh, you know, like run them. Let me put a French one. So if I, if I put it over the mob, automobile here and then go inside a side plan, I will close the app, close the asset and go inside a side plan. Yeah, I mean, the, you see like the way it represents. Uh, I'm not really a fan of it again. However, on the contrary, in Enscape, they are really super realistic. They are really awesome. It's fast. You don't need an power, extremely powerful computer. Yeah, I mean, you need some kind of graphics card, a good graphics card in order to visualize it smoothly without lag. Um, we have it here, GTA, um, just for reference, how, how smooth it is. Um, GTX 1080 Ti, uh, so it's powerful video card, graphics card, and it, it allows you to visualize things smoothly. Another thing that is beneficial from my point of view, it's bi-directional, meaning everything will be, whatever you put inside, whatever you see inside the landscape will be inside the Revit model, it's a reference. So it's going to correct location, it is correct attribute, and so forth. Another the great thing that I cannot find in a, another visualization software is that B icon, if you click over here in the B, if you click on the gypsum or any, any exterior facade, you will be able to see all the data. That's awesome. And then there's a collaboration area, which is great because um, obviously here you can see that you can import and export issues to BCF and import from issues as well from the BC, uh, BCF. And they do have a direct collaboration now with them track. We will be doing the part two of this video where I will be showing you a little bit more about some advanced or I would say intermediate level of features of Enscape, especially with the new version 2.8. And I will be also walking you through a collaboration of the VDBM track and how do we use it on daily basis. So you will actually love it. So please comment below if you want to see this video and if you have any other suggestions that you are like request to be included in that particular video. If you think this video added value to you, please don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel because every week we are going to upload three to four video contents for you. Don't forget to turn your notification bell on. See you next time.